point of RNG is simple. I have a list of retro consoles and a giant library of games. I put the list of consoles into random.org, then have LaunchBox randomly select from the list of games I have for that console. When I have a game selected, we'll look up a bit about the game, then jump right into it. Today's randomly selected console is the Nintendo 64. So this is the first time that we, uh, we have it come up on RNG. This is going to be a difficult console to kind of do, but uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Launchbox, select me a random game, please. Today's random game is Rocket Robot on Wheels. Rocket Robot on Wheels is a 1999 platformer video game developed by Sucker Punch Productions and published by Ubisoft for the Nintendo 64. The game was released in North America and Europe and the first game ever developed by Sucker Punch who would later develop the Sly Cooper and Infamous series for Sony. In the game, the player takes control over Rocket, the title robot, who despite the title has only one wheel. Rocket Robot on Wheels is noticeable for being the first game in a home platform to use a realistic physics engine to drive the gameplay. The player is often required to solve puzzles dealing with mass, inertia, friction, and other physical properties. The game had been developed under the title Sprocket until three months before its release when it changed due to a trademark conflict with Game Sprockets. Alrighty, freaks and geeks, welcome back to RNG. Um, so I'm honestly not quite sure how this game is going to work and handle. Um, N64 emulation is still extremely lacking. Um, this is kind of my my pilot for N64 emulation. Um, so if this doesn't go well and uh, you don't see any more N64 games later on RNG, well, you kind of know why. So let's hope this goes at least, excuse me, remotely well. Um, okay, so, and I even have an N64 controller plugged into my computer so this is going to be as accurate as possible. Ooh. You found a ticket. Jojo scattered these all over the place. Collect as many as you can so you can retro so you can reactivate everything in the park. Now roll forward and use this ticket to trigger the ticket switch right in front of you. Um All right. I never I never played this game as a kid. I rented a lot of games um, as a kid, but this was not one of them. So I'm kind of interested to play it now. I'm just hoping that this is going to work. I mean, so far, it it's actually running at perfectly. So let's keep that. Let's hope it stays that way. Rocket, great to see you. See you, everything's gone crazy. JoJo's must have been planning this for months. I don't know how I'm going to get everything working again. JoJo's rewired the whole park. I'm working on reactivating the ticket switches. They should help you get things going. Oh, I almost forgot. I just got the entrance to Clowny Island working. Check it out. See if JoJo's left any tickets lying around. I wish I could do more. Blah, 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 blah. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So, I know that this game is a little similar um, to, like, um, Banjo Kazooie. It's a little similar to um, Mario 64. Um, it is a 3D platformer with like with a hub world and puzzles and collectibles. Um, so this is going to be a little interesting. I love. Well, okay, I don't love. I really do appreciate and like 3D platformers. Um, so hopefully, I'll be able to do more of them in the future. Um, it's also nice that 3D platformers are kind of coming back in the form of a uh, ukulele and a hat in time. So it's actually kind of fitting to be playing this. Yeah, that graphical glitch around the edge is a little strange. 
Rocket, it's Tinker. I got the sensors working. There's at least one ticket in this world, maybe more. Go up that ramp and the and left at the big dinosaur and look for four huge yellow flowers. Be careful. I think Jojo's been fiddling with the security lots. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck him in the ass, Rocket. Ah. Wait a minute. That, that's a very, that'd be a very different game. So the controls are... Oh, wow, I, I didn't even know I could do this. Okay, whoa, hi. Um, oh, I can toss them? Uh, what is that? Can I... Okay, there's no run. I like how he's like, go, go up the ramp to the left. I immediately went right and off to somewhere else. Ooh, what are those? Um... This isn't control the greatest, and obviously the camera is being controlled with the C buttons. Oh, oh okay. Um, I didn't know I was going to start a timed thing. Um, but it looks really good. It's not like super offending, super offensive. I don't have time for you. What am I doing? Um... It's just that era. Oh, I missed. Shit. It's just that era of 3D platformers, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's that's bad. Wow, you found a booster pack. This adds more energy. Okay, sweet. So it doesn't run horribly, but it doesn't run well. Okay. Um, it doesn't run like it was like it would be on an N64, but uh, I got a controller, so that's you know I got an N64 controller. <laughs> I got a controller, so you know video games, video games. Oh wait a minute, can I? Oh, I think I gotta swing over to that, but I don't have that attachment capability. Uh, one of th one of those words works. Um, what the hell? I'm congratulations. You found a machine part. Every world has a big machine that Jojo has removed seven parts from. Okay. You need fifty tink. Whoa. Okay. This game is different. I don't like the camera. Also. Um, but that's kind of the whole era. The cameras all kind of sucked. That's all right. We got collectibles. We've got a bad guy. We've got puzzles. We have creepy as shit clowns. All right. Uh, another game of this era that I really, 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 really like, or no, I really, 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 really love is Gex. Oh my God. I would love to do a Gex LP at some point. Okay, why did you just minimize? That was weird. Who the fuck are you? Alright, well, anyways. So left of the dinosaur up there? Oh, another piece of the uh, puzzle? Or robot? Who the? Oh, no! You're not allowed to do that to me! Son of a bitch threw me! Get your butt over here. Actually, we're just going to ignore you. Exactly what I'm going to do. The uh, jumping isn't actually all that bad. Um, you know, in some... Oh, what the... Seriously, you little bastard. Um, you know, it's a 3D platformer. So the platforming has got to be good, right? It can't be like too stiff or too floaty. It's It's got to be just right. This game is doing a pretty good job of the platforming. I don't feel like I'm missing. Uh, the screw seems lost. Um, what the hell? No, thank you. Not right now. I'll wait till I get. I can get the, the other car. Um, it doesn't seem you know too floaty or too bad. Oh, here we go. Uh.
and I can jump. Sorry, I, I got distracted for a second. And I can kind of uh, jump correctly. Oh, it's just automatically going to go. All right, never mind. Well, then fine. Fuck you then. I, I, when I jump, I don't feel like I'm going to miss the, my platform, which is kind of nice. Um, come here, you little son of a bitch. Wait, where did I just jump off to? Uh, the shadow below me, I think, is doing a good job of um, showing my place in the world. And, like, when it, it gets smaller, I'm up higher. So, it it's doing a decent job of that. Who are you? Ooh, I feel like you're going to attack me. You look like a horrible vacuum. And there's another screw down there. So, we got to go get that. Lots, lots to do. I like that. Boom, da boom, da boom. The robot still scares the shit out of me. Where did that, where did that platform go? Was it up here? Okay. There you go, little buddy. Let's go grab, let's go grab the other one. And when I get enough uh, of those repair things, I can get this car down there and race that other car anthropomorphic inanimate objects are strange <laughs> I don't even know what we are but we got screws and cars that like to talk to us and fake clowns this game is just strange to say the least I don't know why I never played this game before this isn't offensive or bad or like this is actually and legitimately oh there's a part decent now i i would like to get it to the point where it would just play fluidly the entire time or at least majority of my games be fluid most of the time that would be kind of nice but uh, there's not much i can do about that <laughs> uh n64 emulation for some whatever reason has just lacked in the past couple of years. Um, I don't know what you can attribute that to. Uh, lack of... Uh, sorry, I'm getting lost in this game because there's so much crap everywhere. Okay, so those were the platforms were. Wasn't there a screw back here? Uh, lack of requests. People, you know, may not necessarily want, you know, request, and there hasn't been much of a demand, potentially. So, I don't know. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, fine, fuck you. Th oh, I got you. Man, you go for a swim. That did nothing. Okay, now I've just got a, a, a drill that I'm carrying about while I'm looking for another screw. What is going on here? I don't know if I will be in that car for a long period. There's, there's another drill. Or there's something. Oh, it's a shell. It's not a drill. There's shells. Okay. So let's go get that other car. Or, not that other car. Let's go get in that car. I think we've got enough of the collectible item that it wants. I don't know if I'll be able to be in it permanently. There's a couple things I know that I could do. Okay, so Z is to jump. B is to go back. A is to go forward. So pretty normal stuff. But you can kind of see what I'm already going for here. Now this game's not a racing game per se, but I handled that pretty well. Okay, let's go do the... I could just apparently whack the crap out of those. Let's do the rings next. I'll be able to keep up with those. And then we can go race that uh, other car. Also, that's a part right there. Now that I'm thinking about it. 
couple more pieces and we'll have that fully assembled and ready to go. Also, can I not do this as in this car? Do I have to do it on foot? Oh, no, I can do it. Okay. All right. Ah, see, that makes more sense now that I'm in this car. I'm doing this a lot faster. Yeah, there's no way in hell I would have been able to do this on foot. Okay, well, let's try that again. <laughs> These rings... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. These rings kind of remind me of... Really? Ah, oh, okay, so that's what that is. Now that I've got access to the car, that summons the car in case I flip it or lose it. Because I flipped this damn thing. Anyways, I was trying to say before I flipped it, these... Son of a bitch. These rings remind me of Spyro. Is it one or two? When you do the flying missions? I think that's the first one. They might be in the second one. Uh, but the flying missions where you can... Do all those timed... You have to break all the objects or fly through all the rings. You have to get the certain amount. It's the special levels where you have to get the certain amount of items. And it's timed. Not only does the sound of picking these things up remind me of it, but the timer reminds me... Wow, reminds me of it. Ah, alright. I got another of these tickets. Woohoo! Uh, so, let's talk about the game a little bit more. Um, would I play this? Yes. I definitely want to play this some more. Um, I will probably get through a couple of levels before I at least decide whether or not I want to beat it. Because beating it is going to be a whole nother topic. Can I? Can I? Damn. Uh, as of right now, this surprised me. I don't know what I was quite expecting. Um, I think I was just expecting typical N64 PS1 3D platformer fare. Quite honestly. That is what I was expecting. And instead... Oh, hey, look, I, I propped it back up. Um, but instead, what I got was something that's actually very... Stop losing focus. Uh, that's really weird. Um, I got something that's really charming. And I don't hear many people talk about this game. I don't know if many people just didn't play it or if they just don't like it. But I think that this is a charming... I think underrated game, personally. Underrated in the sense of, I don't hear many people talking about it. I don't see it come up, come up on many uh, N64 game lists. Um, so I don't know what to make of it. Okay, we're suddenly racing. Uh, I also figured out how to get to him afterwards. So I think I just gotta follow this as best as I can, because I'm not picking them up, per se, but I don't think I can just, like, make giant cuts through the island, is the whole point. Hey, look, I'm winning. It's also the first race, so there's no surprise there. The uh, ramps are a little strange. The controls are not perfect, but they're decent enough. Uh, early 3D platformer. All right, so we got a couple of these. Um, I'm actually kind of debating if I want to blind LP this thing. Um, it, it surprised me that much, quite honestly. And I've been recently wanting to get into some 3D platformers, and I think that this is a a fine and a exemplary example of a 3d platformer with a lot with a lot of charm and personality the music's also good it looks good 
You know, I didn't rate my last game because I was debating on whether or not I should be rating the games because it's really just about... It's really just about what I play this game and do I think you should play this game. So, you know, I'm kind of, I think I'm going to drop the ratings, even though they were fun. You know, I had them and I animated them and then I stopped the animation slowly because they were, uh, that was pointless. And now I think I'm just slowly stopping the ratings altogether. This isn't an official review. I'm not playing this game for four, five, seven hours and then giving it a review score. I'm just more or less telling you if it's fun or not and giving you a fake score. You know, screw the fake score. Do I think you should play this game? Yes. Um, if you don't like 3D platformers, don't play this game. But if you like 3D platformers or you want some N64 goodness to play, give Rocket Robot on Wheels a try. It surprised me. I think it might surprise you. Now remember, I do this show twice a week, so if you liked this episode, go back and watch some of my past episodes. Or, if you want to see some of my future episodes, click the subscribe button below and you'll get notified when new episodes go live or when any of my other shows go live. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and thumbs it up. And if you liked it, also send it to your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, geeks, play more games, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.